In this tutorial, I am painting my neighbor and I'm going to make a sticker out of him. He's a gorgeous horse that lives next door. He really is my neighbor. And I wanted to make a sticker with him in it. So follow along. You'll see how I did it next. So if you're new here, my name is Paige. I'm the chief pixel pusher and paintbrusher over at Gumption. And today we're going to be making stickers. So this is a bit of a two part video. It's going to be part process video and part instructional video. And I will leave the timestamp down below in the description. So you can go directly to the sticker portion if you aren't interested in the time lapse portion. So I make tons of stickers. I design them in the computer. I use paintings that I've made to create stickers and I sell tons of them at our local farmer's market. I'm often trying to add to my arsenal of stickers because my customers continually come back to me for more stickers. So I'd like to have lots of variety. So for this tutorial, I had a picture of my neighbor and I wanted to paint him because he is gorgeous. I'm a big fan of horses. So he was a natural subject for this coming sticker.
Okay, so once you have your illustration or painting, you're gonna wanna take this into your scanner and scan it at 300 DPI. Now I have an old scanner that I've had since 2002 and that is what I use because it has the best color of any scanner that I have uh, So and it still works great. So if you have a scanner, you can do that or if you can take a picture that's 300 DPI, you can use that image and then uh, tweak it in Photoshop if you need to and then bring it into your computer. You're gonna bring it into Illustrator next. Okay, so first we're gonna import this image that I have. I am going to see what my document setup is, see what this page size is. Okay, so it's an eight and a half by 11. Very good. I am going to switch that so it is the right size. Now that I have my image in here, I need to lock my image so it's not moving around. Object lock selection. So that's locked, that guy, so he won't move around. Next, I take my pen tool. I'm going to create an outline around this guy. And I just have to make sure I switch it to the stroke here and not the fill. And with my pen tool, I'm going to draw around him, just a little bit around him so I can create a border here because we're going to use a mask for this guy. And I am going to draw around the shadows a little bit too to see if I like that or not. I can clean up my line work at a later time here. But first I just got to get the shape around him and you can see I'm clicking and dragging to get these handles so I have a little bit more control when I go back and straighten them up. So then I adjust my uh, outline here, clean it up a little bit. If you didn't get handles on one of your points, you can go over to, where's my pen tool? There it is. Go here and go to your anchor point tool, click on the center of that, and then you can give yourself handles. And basically I'm just going around kind of cleaning up the weird areas, attempting to make this relatively even all around my horse here. And if I need to add a node because I want to bring it in a little bit, I just hit my plus sign and add in a node. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out and see how this outline looks for him. I'm going to smooth out this area with the smooth tool. I 
bring this guy out just a little bit. Okay. And I think I'm going to bring this area out some more so I can give it a little more space there. And any hard edges I might have, I am smoothing out, so I'm going to clean this one up a little. Okay, so we have our outline done. Now we can make our clipping mask. So I am going to go into my layers and click on this arrow and you can see this is where the outline is and this is where the horse is. So I'm unlocking the horse. I'm going to select both these items and I am going to make a clipping mask out of it. So you can go to object, clipping mask, make, and there you have an outline of your horse. So if I zoom out here a little bit and drag this horse over here and voila, there you go. You have your sticker ready horse. So there are some things that you need to do after you get this far. Often what I do is I will make a copy. So I put, put my finger down on the Alt key and drag a copy of the horse click on the horse, drag it. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit because you're not going to want a giant sticker of the horse. So I'm going to make a box that's three inches by three inches. This way I know how I can at least gauge how big this horse is and I can shrink it down to fit in the box. And then maybe I'm going to make a box that's four inches by four inches. I think this is going to be too big of a sticker. Put my finger on the Alt key and drag. I can make a copy of that. So I have a three inch horse and a four inch horse. And I'm going to print this out on my printer to see which one I like the best. And whichever one I like the best, I'm going to submit it to my print shop. Okay, so you, you can see here that I have printed out three different sizes for this horse. This is just to give me an idea of how big that sticker will be. So I did a four inch box, a three inch box, and a three and a half inch box. And I think I like this little bigger horse better. I know moving forward that I think I like this size and I can send this PDF off to print. If you liked this video and you got something out of it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more of my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you think your friends can get some use out of this, go ahead and hit that share button and share this video. I appreciate you being here. Keep painting, keep being creative, and I will see you next time.